Hello, everyone. I'm Kairi Zhixuanzhou. I'm delighted to be here today with my colleague, Tanashri Shama, to present our research on the iterative design of an accessible crypto wallet for blind users. This is joint work with Shovik Das and Yang Wang, who are also there. Um, Luke Imano is an amazing undergrad designer in our team. Okay, let's dive into it. Crypto wallets are an essential touch point for users to interact with decentralized technologies. People use crypto wallets for a wide range of tasks, such as making transactions, managing their crypto assets, creating non-fungible tokens, and delegating decentralized autonomous organizations. As of 2023, there are 45 million crypto users in the States and 420 globally. Advocacy groups such as the National Federation um, for the Blind have pointed out the accessibility challenges and called for more attention to the research of accessibility of crypto technologies. However, little attention has been paid to understanding and improving accessibility barriers in crypto wallets. This has effectively marginalized blind users from participating in the emerging blockchain ecosystem. Based on these considerations, we propose the following two research questions. First, what are the experiences of blind users with the current crypto wallets? And second, how can crypto wallets be made more accessible to blind users? Here's our whole study flow. We first analyzed the user reviews of 10 popular crypto wallets and conducted a competitive analysis to understand their accessibility and other aspects. Based on findings, we implemented and tested two rounds of redesigns regarding accessibility, security, and education. We conducted user experiments on both MetaMask, one of the most popular crypto wallets on the market, which our redesigns are based on, and the two versions of our iWallet with I standing for inclusiveness. For the user experiments, we recruited 20 sighted users, 23 blind users, and one user with low vision. The whole population is relatively young, with most of them being between 18 and 34. We had a nearly equal number of male and female participants. Here are some more details about our user experiments. After the intro interviews, the participants were asked to conduct four tasks. First, setting up a new wallet account. Second, checking wallet address and crypto balance. Third, sending a certain number of crypto to the researchers. And lastly, importing the existing wallet into the new device. Six multiple choice knowledge questions about core wallet concepts, such as wallet address and secure recovery phrase, were asked before and after the tasks. Our experiments were conducted, uh, concluded by an exit interview. To understand the user experience and accessibility of the crypto wallets, we qualitatively analyzed the interview transcripts and the observational notes we took during the user experiments. We also quantitatively analyzed the system usability scores, knowledge questions before and after the tasks, task success rate, and task completion time. Now, I will report the results of the different portions of our need finding study. In the user review analysis, we synthesized three main themes for our later redesign namely accessibility, education, and usable security. With accessibility as the most out outstanding barrier, which is also the main theme of our research. For the competitive analysis of the 10 popular crypto wallets, accessibility issues, again, turned out quite common. Eight of them did not implement any accessibility features. The two that did, MetaMask and Coinbase, still had a wide range of accessibility issues, such as a poor contrast between text and background colors. Our user testing of MetaMask uncovered more concrete accessibility issues. For example, there were a lot of unlabeled or poorly labeled buttons in MetaMask, which has led to security and trust concerns for the blind users. Also, there was a lack of sound or text-based notifications for finished operations leaving the blind users confused about the operation status. Finally, MetaMask was not compatible with some screen readers, making them unable to access some headings and buttons. There were also a lot of learnability and usable security issues. 
This page demonstrates the cumbersome process of dealing with the secret recovery phrase, which is the master key for crypto wallet creation and recovery, as you can see on the left side. When confirming the secret recovery phrase by reordering the shuffle 12 words at the bottom, participants had to first check the upcoming word in the original phrase, like here, and second, go through the shuffled words to select the matching one. As you can see, this is a rather time-consuming process for the blind users. They have to go back and forth to, ch to reorder the 12 words. And many of them skip this cumbersome process. Since secret recover phrase is the only credential for crypto wallets, they lost their accounts and assets forever. After reflecting on all these accessibility barriers, I will hand over to Tanashri, and she will report our iterative design. Thank you, Jishuan. I hope I'm loud and clear. So well, in the next few slides, I will present our redesign solutions. So I'll start with accessibility. We added self-explanatory labeling for various web elements, and we organized them in a clear hierarchy and use a combination of colors with contrast to make the content distinguishable. So as a result, participant 23 reported descriptive labeling was useful because this allowed him to confirm what he's going to see next screen. So, and this also reduced the risk of unintentionally revealing the sensitive account information by clicking the wrong button. So next I'll talk about our recurrent issue encountered related to a core function called seed phrase, as Jishan mentioned before. So blind participants find it notably more demanding, both cognitively and practically, to write down this seed phrase accurately and again confirm during the account creation and recovery phase. So what we did is we streamlined this process by designing the workflow of downloading the encrypted version of seed phrase and allowing user to upload it to confirm during the account creation and recovery. So I will just play a quick demo how we designed it. Well, so during our experiment, half of the participants who opted in for this redesign recovery phrase to create their account, so one important fact also highlighted by these participants is um, enhanced privacy, with one of them noting that uh, typing the seed phrase outside could be overheard by others, because not all the screen readers use microphone or um, headphones outside. So next, in our education-focused report, we embedded just-in-time video to explain the key concept like gas fee, secret recovery phrase, so that the user don't need to navigate additional web pages, which can be challenging for blind users. So we further added video instructions with descriptive uh, text. And this is based on our observation in the first iteration where some participant habitually skipped the videos or found them less accessible or too fast to grasp the concept of it. So we also enhance the clarity by using some metaphors like relating wallet address to bank account and private key to a password. So participants found this embedding education valuable during the experiments. So we have a plenty of quotes in the paper. Please feel free to read it. I would rather spend some time in our design implication and research, our future research direction in the next few slides. So again, here for educate users, uh, terms like gas fees and its impact on transaction time in an intuitive way, we applied direct manipulation in the design uh, with a gas fee slider showing the positive relationship of gas fees with transaction speed, which convey if you pay more gas fees, the transaction speed would be faster. And next, security. So making the transaction is the, one of the crucial steps for crypto wallet. So once you make a transaction, you cannot revert. So some participants mentioned that they often could not tell different wallet addresses apart, which 
put them in a higher risk to send the crypto asset to a wrong address. What we did is we incorporated features that allows user to verify the last four digit of this um, recipient address by highlighting those and also requiring them to enter the four digit before confirming a trans transaction. So all these are our improvement of our solution uh, resulted in a higher system usability score of 81 compared to the MetaMask. And in particularly, for blind users, had higher success rate in completing the task with a wallet and spent less time, 37.8 minutes, on the task compared to 47.9 minutes in MetaMask. So as a design implication, we communicated with the stakeholders MetaMask and consensus with our findings. We also highlighted some of our redesign solution, which didn't work as we anticipated. For example, the design manipulation of gas slider didn't really work as we expected, which also highlights that there might be some specific study design needed to further evaluate these specific design features. So to sum up, our study involves a holistic design of non-custodial crypto wallets like MetaMask, rather zooming into the specific features such as key management, transaction, education, which needs further exploration. And one possible future research agenda could involve is that there could be education for crypto wallet users, and chatbot could be designed and experimented for accessible education tailoring to both blind users as well as sighted users. And another possible agenda could be key management. As you can see right now, the key management involving seed phrase is very cumbersome. So a future research can delve into some questions of how and if a new key management strategy improves the risk, security, and trust perception of crypto wallet users. And there are actually some existing um, crypto wallet which provide some of the custodian um, form, like meaning someone managing your key. Uh, but one thing to really explore here, do a user trust themselves more in managing a key or they trust any centralized authority to manage their key? So that's some, something uh, could be done as a future research. And that's a wrap. Would be happy to take some questions now. <laughs>